Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to Dad's Eats episode 6, Chef Mark Murphy's French Toast. Um, I have recently been trying to get on his newest podcast, uh, Food360. I think he has great information. Uh, I've always enjoyed watching him on Chopped and various other Food Network shows. And, uh, you know, this guy definitely knows what he's doing, obviously. Uh, so today I made, again, his French toast. And um, the recipe kind of consists, well, it doesn't kind of, it does consist of heavy cream, brandy, sugar, eggs, nine of those bad boys, and a big uh, loaf of nice, uh, like a filone. Um, we use a, a French loaf here today uh, just because uh, the availability of that but so what we did was we marinated these overnight and those are in that nice concoction of of goody all kinds of goodies and uh, you know what's gonna happen is is that we're gonna get this a nice sear on the cast iron and then inside is gonna be very like almost custardy bread pudding kind of consistency uh, but it's going to be very good we're going to have that nice crispy outside caramelized great and then that nice soft center and we're going to serve that off here with some of course maple syrup and some powdered sugar as well to make it all look good for you guys so yeah I'm just bringing that to you today and I'm going to kind of show you how we go about that we're going to go right to the pan here we got a nice hot pan ready to go that's good. I am going to toss a little bit of oil in there. Because I think it's important. <laughs> and we're going to put approximately about, I don't know, a tablespoon here. Maybe a little more. Give it some extra love. You know, fat is flavor, in case you didn't know. So, we're going to do that. Then I'm also going to do a little bit of the uh, unsalted butter. So the um, butter required for this is actually uh, two tablespoons. But we're going to put the other two tablespoons in the pan here. Let's watch this beautiful butter action. Who doesn't like a good sizzle, am I right? Let's get this unwrapped here. There it is. Wow, look e there. Mm -mm -mm. Get that all seared around. So yeah, we're gonna let that butter get down and uh, do its thing with the oil there and create just a good uh, frying texture to get the nice good crisp again on these wonderful pieces of French toast here. Um, man, it's just gonna be so good. I'm so excited. So, uh, while we got that going, we'll get that butter nice and melted. Um, how are you guys doing? Are you guys doing great? You know, we're doing good. We just hit over a thousand followers on our Facebook page, and that's uh, a huge accomplishment. 24 days since we started at Deets, and you know, now we got over a thousand followers, and that's all thanks to you guys. So, again, I told you there'd be more video content, I told you there'd be more things to come. And this is it. This is where we're getting started with those kinds of things. We're getting new equipment. I'm learning. You know, you're learning with me. So uh, we're going to grow together. And I just thank you guys for all your support on that. So we're going to grab here. Got to have the oven mitt for protection. Let's give these a little. Get that butter. It's almost like a brown butter there. You know, nice. Nice consistency. Just want to make sure that's all the way around. All right, and we'll turn that back to the stove. And then let's go ahead and give these a nice flip. I think our pan's nice and ready. And we're gonna go ahead and get these pieces of French toast on here. Oh man, look at you there. Wowzers. Go ahead and get another piece on. Alright. I'll tell you what, let's do one more here. We'll do a smaller piece since the missus requested a smaller piece. So great. And what we're going to do is, I'm, again, I'm going to go 
and get that a nice uh, nice caramelization on the side. It's gonna be a good thing. Those may take a minute. And notice I got that oven set to 350 there, and that's gonna be afterwards. So we want to make sure that um, while we're gonna crisp the outside, that we want to get the inside done as well. So you don't want like this big mushy stuff going on. Toast now, crisping up, and I'm gonna go ahead and give them the first initial flip. And then I'm going to get you guys a camera shot on that as well. So let's take you guys over here. Looky there. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. That's going to be so good. I'm so excited. It's going to be delicious oh, you guys know it's my messy dishes laundry <laughs> dad's eats right everybody's been there okay all right guys so now that we got these crispy on both sides and well pretty much all around we're gonna get these in the oven and again on 350 that's what that's on so let's get these bad boys in the oven here And just so you can see. Mm. Wow. It's going to be so good. I'm telling you. So, so good. You know, and of course, what breakfast wouldn't be complete without some bacon. Am I right? All right. Normally, I bake my bacon. But I think for the sake of, well, showmanship, if you will, we're going to fry it on my other cast iron because you can't have too many cast irons. Am I right? All right. So let's grab that. Right. To the fridge. That's ready. We're gonna go ahead and get the bacon into the pan here. Magic. For real though, I love just the sound, the sizzle, smell of bacon. It's wonderful. It fills the whole house every morning that I make it. And I mean, what else do you want for me? Right? What else would you want? Bacon. I think we're baking cologne. I would, I don't. But. So this will take a couple of sessions. But, surely we'll get a nice, nice plate full of delicious, crispy bacon. All right, so let's take you down here to the action. Mm-mm-mm. Pop, sizzle, pop, 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 sizzle. I like to make little noises, songs. My kids hate it. They love it, but they hate it. They will hate it later, right? You know. Oh, well. It's... That's the job. That's the dad part there. Want to build an annoyance, you know. Gotta, gotta start them slow. Reach them up to that point where they're just absolutely disgusted with you. Then you show up in your robe in your new balance shoes. Am I right? Oh, let's get another spatula. Never mind. I think actually tunnels probably work better in this situation. No, I'm, I'm for sure they do. Uh, it's easier to grab the bacon and you don't like try to get this spatula in there maybe nick a piece of bacon and then you got some scraggly pieces just not good hmm. I also like to flip 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 the bacon you know some people will leave it on one side until it's done and then flip it but I like to keep flipping it because I feel like it keeps the bacon straight and keeps it from getting all wrinkly and bubbly and all that goodness. At least for the most part. I mean, bacon just kind of goes anyway, like a little pigtail. Right? Is that wrong? 
Starting to get some color on those bad boys right there. It's gonna be good. Okay, so now we have the French toast done, we have the bacon done, and now we're gonna go to plating. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that guy ready, and then I'll take you guys to the shot in just a second. So, as you can see, we're finishing up here. But I had this smaller piece that I'm gonna surprise my wife with. I'm sure she'll love it because who doesn't love French toast? Let's go get her. If you see something that's parenting related, well, because I'm a dad. <laughs> Let's go in here and surprise her. Hello. Hi, Hi we wanted to surprise <laughs> you. Thanks. <laughs> she said thanks. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go back to the kitchen, shall we? Okay, guys. So now we're all done. Got a plate plated and looky there the finished product mm -mm -mm. all right well i'm going to take some beautiful pictures of that and yeah thank you guys for joining me today i really appreciate it uh hopefully next time maybe i won't be as awkward but uh getting used to those video thing uh please be sure to like and subscribe to dad's eats uh we love you guys so much Stay